protecting websites against SQL injections and many other security attacks have never been easier. Let's see how you can execute an SQL injection attack against a website and how you can easily configure a web firewall at the edge with a few API calls to protect it. Once the web firewall is up, we will try repeating the attack and see what happens. For our origin, we are using a PHP web server called DVWA that is available in GitHub and allows to easily change the security levels of the site and simulate application layer attacks. Let me open the administrative web interface and change the security settings to low so we can see how easy it is to launch an SQL injection attack and dump all the uses of our database. I'm going to go to the security and change the security level from impossible to low. Let's click low and click submit. And as you can see, the level is now low. Click on SQL injection and on the user ID, I'm going to paste a special form a string to execute an attack. If I click submit, you can see how I can dump all the users in the database. In my case, I just have five users you know, with sample data. Let me leave this prepared so I can come back and try it out later on after I protect the site. So I'm switching to the terminal now, and you can see here all my commands. Next is to configure the Akamai web application firewall to protect this site against SQL injection attacks. That happens with four API calls and can be easily scripted to protect new sites in a couple of minutes. Here are the four steps I'm going to run. First, I'm going to create a new version of the security configuration so we can protect the new website. The second, we will create a new security policy that protects against SQL injection attacks and will attach it to the new website. The third, we will indicate the scope of the protection by telling to apply to all URLs on that website. And the fourth step, will, we will activate the new version of the security policy in the staging. I'm going to run the four API calls using the application security CLI, which is included in the Akamai development environment. Note that I'm storing the values returned by API calls into shell variables to easily pass it to the next API call, which is something very common when automating tasks. Let's store the hostname I want to protect into an environment variable called my underscore hostname, so I don't have to type it later on. Let's use the echo command to verify my value is stored. All right, let's use the AppSec CLI to create a new version of our security configuration and save the version number into an environment variable. Next, we will create a new security policy by cloning a system policy that protects against SQL injection attacks and we'll attach it to the new website by referencing the variable we defined earlier. The following step is to indicate the scope of the protection by telling it to apply to all URLs as indicated with a slash following by a star. The last API call we are going to make is to activate the security configuration in the staging network. If we take a look at the parameters, we can see that I'm indicating the configuration version, my configuration ID, the network, some nodes, and also an email to get a confirmation. I can also make another API call to check the status and verify it's pending. Let me copy the new API call and paste it. And as you can see, it's activating. Next, let me go back to the web browser I'm going to wait for a few seconds just to ensure the activation finishes and I'm going to type again the SQL injection and perfect. So now I get denied, which is what I was expected. You can see with a few API calls, I'm able to protect against SQL injection attacks.